tuned into the motherfucking greatest. Welcome on the Deep Society channel. I will show you today how to solve a problem with Cubase 10 and Soft2 plugins. I have uh, Cubase 10 and Cubase 9.5. When I open Cubase 9.5 and um, with the Soft2 plugins, nothing is a problem. There is, everything is okay. The plugin open and no problems, no worries at all. But if you open the same project on Cubase 10, then the Cubase, your Cubase will hang up. It will just crush, okay? And this is the problem. I will show you here. I have a new project, just have this track here, and I will put a soft tube plugin here now in the inserts and for this I will take the fat compressor and you see what happens it's in German but it means Cubase is finished so you can't work with it anymore you have to shut it down happens with every soft tube plugin happens also with auto tune so what can you do with that. Um, what you can do is the long workaround and not useful and not good. I did that first because I had no clue. So I opened the old projects with Cubase 9.5 and delete all the plugins that were from SoftTube out of the project and resave that project. And I could load it with, with 10. Okay, that is really not good and not useful to do. And it's not the meaning of the project. So there is another nice workaround. And for this, we will open Cubase 10. And the good thing in Cubase is that you have the control room first. I make another track. And now we go to the control room, to the effects. And as you maybe know, you have here a few slots that you can put inserts into. And those will load every time that you open a project. So they will be there as long as you don't move them or whatever they will stay here and they just are inserted here in the control room this is not the master channel this is the control room channel so what you can do now is a simple but straightforward workaround and for this i hope you have that plugin you put in here in the first slot the micro shift from sound toys this should stay here in the control room, but you don't want it to have an effect on the control room itself, so you turn it off. Yeah, and now you see, okay? And now let's check. We open the SoftTube plugin again. We choose the same one, it was the fat compressor, and see what happens. All right, here it is, works perfect. And you can open another one to check it. Another soft tube, works. Great and very, very useful. So thanks for watching. And if you like the video, I will make a lot more useful videos in the future that hopefully help you. And if you want me to do that, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a good time.